I like to dance. Mm. I like to pretend I was Mariah Carey <laughs> with my hairbrush in the mirror. Yeah. Um, Laura Stewart was just 11 years old when the abuse began. I remember the first weekend I stayed at his. That night, he touched me for the first time. Um, and that continued and progressively got more and more um, over the course of five and a half to six years. Her abuser was jailed when Laura was 18 and sentenced to life on the sex offenders register too. But earlier this year, she found out he'd been removed. I felt frightened. I felt frightened for my children and for myself. You know, there's nothing to stop him pitching up next door. It's horrifying. And you actually have bumped into him. The first time I saw him myself, I was with my two young daughters um, in a shopping centre um, and he was in the store that we were in. Um, and I panicked that there was a wave of just complete fear. In Dorset, where Laura lives, the police told us the process for sex offenders coming off the register is governed by national legislation and the decision is carefully considered in a robust and lengthy process. Laura is now petitioning Parliament to ban sex offenders sentenced to life on the register from applying to be taken off. The right to appeal, 15 years after release from custody, was introduced in 2012 following a Supreme Court ruling that the lack of such a mechanism breached human rights law. The government promised the process would be tough. We will deliberately set the bar for those reviews as high as possible. Public protection must come first. But new figures obtained by Sky News show that last year police forces received 394 applications for removal, 304 of which were approved, a success rate of 77%. For some forces, it was 100%. Only a small proportion of the 66,000 people on the register have the right to appeal. Legal experts argue it's a key part of rehabilitation. I do think that people can reform, even ones that commit the most egregious of acts. A successfully rehabilitated individual needs to have that incentive. You need to keep the light on at the end of the tunnel. Some MPs are calling for a review of the whole process. It does feel like the system has slipped to being more in favour of those who are committing the offence than the other two parties involved, be it victims or communities. And those numbers seem far too high to me. Laura feels let down by the justice system. The protection afforded by the police, the reassurances that I was now safe, I wasn't in harm's way, those reassurances have kind of been trampled on. The Home Office say we have some of the toughest powers in the world to deal with sex offenders and those who continue to pose a risk will stay on the register for life if necessary. But for Laura and many other victims, the fear remains. Amanda Acas, Sky News, Bournemouth.